Torah Code chapter 374. So, three really important things I want to talk about in this chapter. First, the chapter starts off explaining that gourmet demons, because they're made out of 100% pure gourmet cells, normally you wouldn't eat, they wouldn't, gourmet demons wouldn't eat one another. Because one, either it would be impossible to, to digest the cells, or two, the cells would react with each other, causing the demon to explode outward. It would kill them. So there's no point in eating gourmet demons. But sometimes, sometimes, cells can overtake another one and make them stronger. Um, the Nitro mentioned how that was the case with Neo versus Don Slime, and how Jiro, because he was fed Nitro uh, by the by Guinness became so absurdly strong because he consumed their gourmet cells and overpowered them. So now Toriko is doing that because Toriko didn't instantly explode. I don't know if there's a delay, but because he didn't instantly explode, I imagine he's gotten more powerful. I don't know why the gray, white, or whatever the hell, black haired wing demon didn't. Why hasn't it shown up yet? Like, I, this is some dick teasing. This is some bullshit. This is like getting head, and just before you get off, they, you're, the person you're with stops. Like, bitch, why you stop? I'm not done yet! The fuck? Moving on from that, I love how we've seen all these weapons. Toriko has the knife and fork. Ichu had the chopsticks. Chin, chin, chin had um the spoon. God uses bare hands. <laughs> What's the best utensil? No utensil. Fuck it. That's just primal logic right there. But to hell with it. It seems like while they were fighting, red and blue are just jumped out of them. Especially at the end of the chapter where Toriko goes to fight um, Adam and Pear. Red and blue, apparently by eating Neo, Neo, red and blue are now independent. They can now act independent of Toriko's body. They, they jumped out of him. I haven't seen that happen since the when he was fighting Heracles. And not at the same time. So I imagine if Neo comes back, Toriko's demon that he's going to have to use is going to have to be the, the winged one. Now I also feel because they're outside of Toriko's body, it's possible, possible that red and blue are going to be eaten. I imagine this is a way to remove the powers of red and blue from play, but not kill Toriko. I figure that's what Mishutoshi is going about here. Also, God is disgustingly powerful. God shows up out of nowhere, smacks Neo, and uses his tongue to force him through the center of the planet to the other side. Yo! Absurd! Oh, Totally powerful. Like that. That's ridiculous. That the planet has a molten core. You just stuck your tongue through molten hot planet. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. No comment. Moving on from that. Uh, the fodder guys are taken out fairly easy by Starjin, uh, Grimpatch, and Tommy Rod, but. They're, Tommy Rod and Grimpatch are done. Joey hit them with her with her fungus. They melted. It's done. But also, apparently, Joey took out the three Heavenly Kings. I, I call it bullshit. First of all, if this is actually, like, real, you really just killed off three of the main characters off stage? Really? Seems like bullshit. Do not approve. Furthermore. Who's Starjin's dad? Now. Now, after realizing that Toriko is Starjin's brother. Hmm. 
There have been many speculations. Um, the fuck? About who stars is that? A lot of the speculations have been that it's Acacia. I don't believe that. If I find out that Starjin's, Starjin and Toriko are the offspring of, like, a, a Nitro, I'll lose my shit. Because I feel like Starjin... There's something about Starjin that feels monstrous. Even more so than just having a gourmet demon. There's something about him that feels monstrous and if he's like part nitro and Toriko's part nitro I will lose my shit I will lose like all of my sanity uh the last thing I want to talk about Take apparently Take is cooking god while they're fighting he's doing well it seems I, I don't know Take's cooking level so I can't really speak to that but I feel like Komatsu is going to make an appearance soon. And hopefully, we will finally get to see Komatsu fight. I would love it if Komatsu's gourmet demon went berserk. He takes out the ni the Nitro. And he's like, and he just has a plate. And there's like, Nitro soul covered in blue Nitro blood. And I'm like, <coughs> and eats it like a Kishin egg. I would love that. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Like, rate, subscribe, share this video with your friends. I will see y'all for the next Toriko.